Hi everyone and welcome back. There are two ways you can copy the recorded files from your Tascam Model 12, Order 16, Order 24, which has been recorded on the multi-track recorder onto the SD card to copy from the device onto your laptop for further editing and mixing. Method number one, the easy one, while you have your device turned off, you can simply unplug the SD card from the unit itself and you can plug that into your laptop. These days most laptops have SD card readers. If, the, uh, if your laptop or computer doesn't have it, you can grab yourself maybe a USB to SD card reader like this one or something similar. They're quite cheap or even the multi-card reader into USB, something like that, so that you can copy the files from the SD card onto your computer. Mine already has an SD card reader, so I'm just going to plug that in and read the files on it. Depending on your Windows, it might automatically open up. If not, you can just uh, look at your SD card and these are the contents. It does come with three folders and some system file. Don't touch any of those or change any of the names because it is important for Tascam to actually have those consistent. Just let's go through some of the options. Utility is the folder where you actually put any update firmware and instructions are with the firmware update and the Tascam unit will actually look into this folder, find the latest firmware and upgrade it automatically. The next is the music folder. Here you can actually place um, your stereo WAV files that you can play using the device itself. And if you export any mix downs, um, the stereo mix down of the main 11 and 12, it gets mixed down and this is where it's saved as well. So if you want to load uh, WAV files from outside into the tracks of the um, Tascam Model 12 or the 16 or the 24. You place your WAV files here and within the menu, you can load them onto any of the available tracks. The MTR is pretty obvious. It's the multi-track recorder. Each song is a folder name and under each folder, you will find the 12 tracks, the 10, which are the 10 inputs, and 11 and 12 are the left and right uh, main output. And there are other files in there, some binary files, which are basically the undo options. So if you click undo, that's where it will actually get the information from. So you can record something, overwrite it, and if you got it wrong, you can always undo it back to the previous recording. This is where it actually saves it, so you can undo it at least once. So the files that you really need to copy are basically these ones from TR01 to TR12. On the model 16, obviously it will be 16 and on the 24 will be 24. And the last two will always be the main left and right. So I'm going to copy these files, select control C, and then let's create a folder on my desktop. And this is the last uh, song, the demo that I recorded. And I'm just going to place it there. Of course, you can drag and drop them into the new folder as well. And that's our, and those are the full files that we need from that folder. So we now can close it. And these are the files on my computer now, on my laptop. So let's load them into Cakewalk by BandLab and see what we can do. The second method we can use to copy our recorded files from our device onto your onto our computer is um, by connecting our device, the Tascam Model 12, Model 16, or the 24, using the USB cable with our laptop. And this is also good if you don't have any SD card readers because we can select from the menu 
to change the communication format so the SD card becomes an external USB drive. And to do that, we click the menu. And from the menu screen, we scroll down until we see the word storage. And we click the jog button and select yes. And after about a couple seconds, we'll actually see on the screen saying USB connected. And if we have a look on our computer, Explore, we can see Tascan M and it automatically opened up as well. And this is exactly uh, what we see when we load the SD card on to our computer through SD card reader. So the same thing applies. So under uh, MTR, we can see all the songs and we can copy and dr or drag and drop onto a new folder on our laptop and then we have a copy. And that's method number two. And once we've copied all the files, we can just click the exit button and it's back to normal operation and it's no longer connected as a USB drive onto our computer. Let's create a new project. Just going to create an empty one. Just open up a folder that we copied all the files from. I know I recorded track one and track two and six, seven and eight and nine and 10. Those are the files. I don't need the stereo output. I could copy them. As you can see from the file size, these are small anyway. So let's copy one track at a time. I know um, some of them are stereo. So nine and 10 will be stereo, but because they are separate files, I'll just copy them together. Just going to drag those two. Okay, and I'm just going to drag seven and eight as well. I mean, I could drag all of them together, but I'm just doing one at a time. And then six, which was my bass. And track one and two were my vocal and my harmony vocals. Okay, so I've got all of those. Let's make some room. Let's zoom out and see what we've got. Yep, those are all the recordings. Looks like it's all there. And let's have a listen. So let's uh, have a play and have a listen. I haven't done anything, so let's make sure that it does work. Stereo Pandem, the drums, the arrangement. Let's check the vocals. Why can't you see? We're not meant to be. All good. So next, because the uh, Tascam Model 12 records each track individually, but I want my drums and my accompaniment, these four tracks, to be two, one stereo, or two stereo tracks, rather than having uh, uh, four channels there, let us combine them into new stereo. Let's select them both. Bounce two tracks. a new track destination making sure that it is stereo the entire mix so this one should be my drums let's mute this and have a listen yep these are my stereo drums And now let's do the same for our accompaniment. And you really want to do this before you add any plugins because you want your raw data from two mono files copied onto one stereo file and making sure they are panned left and right as well. And let's have a listen to the accompaniment. Yep. How 
bass is mono anyway. And that is done. So that's how we can import. Now we can manipulate our audio, add effects and anything else we want to do. And um, we're good to go. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. And I'll catch you in the next one.